Dorothy. Please hang in there a little while longer and Angelo will be on a plane headed for Brooklyn. Wish I'd taken my ring. <laughs> Why are you two dressed like that? Well, these are our costumes for the play, Dorothy. We were in the middle of dress rehearsal when they told us all to go home right away. These are Hurricane heading for Miami. You know, I think I will take a slice of cake. Hello. Um, Uncle Angelo, I'd uh, like you to meet... Um, uh, I'm Sister Rose. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Sister Blanche. Nice, nice to meet you, Sister Blanche. We're here uh, collecting... A lingerie for needy, sexy people. I just heard on TV the airports are closed. There's a big hurricane headed this way. They want everyone to stay just where they are. That means that we could be trapped together for days. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Please protect us and watch over us in this hour of need. Amen. Oh, Dorothy, come on, borrow one of my men. One of my many, 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 many. All right. Girls, this nightgown is so sheer, I believe you can see right through it. Oh, hello, Fidel. Hello, Blash. How are you? You don't have cataracts, you tell me. <laughs> Ain't it, you 50-year-old mattress? <laughs> Why, you, you miserable old... Blanche, 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 you know the rules. When one of you is out with Fidel, the other one does not interfere. My apologies. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go take a long, hot, steamy bath with just enough water to barely cover my perky bosoms. <laughs> You're only going to sit in an inch of water? <laughs> oh. oh. Mm. Oh, my, 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 my. Why do I feel the need to bathe? So how was it, Blanche? Oh, you might as well ask me to describe the glory of the great Smoky Mountains as they rise from the mist of a Carolina dawn. They went to a sleazy motel. Or the colors of the monarch butterfly spreading its wings as it emerges from the miracle of the cocoon. She got him to pay for half the room. Oh, the sturdy cypress reaching heavenward, tall and mighty and proud. That one, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. Well, I am stunned. Just stunned. Stunned is the only way to describe how stunned I am. Just a minute, just a minute, Blanche. Are you trying to tell us that you are stunned? What else? Magenta. Excuse me? Magenta. That's what I call it when I get that way. All kinds of feelings tumbling all over themselves. Well, you know, you're not quite blue because you're not really sad. And although you're a little bit jealous, you wouldn't say you're green with envy. And every now and then you realize you're kind of scared, but you'd hardly call yourself yellow. <laughs> I hate that feeling. I just hate it. And I hate the color magenta. <laughs> That's why I named it that. Magenta. Magenta me. Oh, I hated those drapes. Lavender's a great color on me. Brings out my eyes. Your eyes aren't lavender. Girls! <laughs> Blanche, who's the father? The father? Gee, I don't know. He's undressing me with his eyes. Do you want to move to another table? Not yet. He's only half done. Well, all right, but before you do, I just want to thank you for a lovely evening. Oh, I guess he bought dinner. It's just breaking my heart. I've never cared for a man as much as Fidel Santa Domingo. Santiago. Oh, whatever. Do you realize it has been four days since I have enjoyed the company of a man? The point 
it is, he's rich, he's handsome, and we were made for each other. Even if I don't speak Mexican. Spanish. Whatever. <laughs> I'll introduce you to all of Jeffrey's naval officer friends. Some of them have been at sea for more than six months. <laughs> So during the buttocks lifts, he motioned for my phone number. Well, I didn't want to appear easy, so I rolled over on my back and flung my legs over my head. Well, no, he has not, because I certainly would remember it if he had. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming. A man as brilliant as you must be terribly busy. Oh, your wife must be very proud of you. Actually, we're divorced. Oh, I'm terribly, terribly sorry. <laughs> be in a coma put a man within five miles she'd roll over and shave her legs right oh, nonsense who knows my body better than i do any man in miami not attached to a woman or a respirator <laughs> maybe the red sequin strapless backless low-cut mini <laughs> my god you're mr bart reynolds i hope so otherwise i got the wrong underwear on <laughs> is the roommate you told me about yeah which one's a slut you know, I don't know. Maybe he's just too down to earth and nice and decent for me. You know what I mean? Yes. Now, if you were getting married, you could have a prenuptial agreement. But just living together, all you can do is steal money out of his wallet while he's in the shower. You know, nobody in my family's ever seen a psychiatrist. Except, of course, when they were institutionalized. <laughs> Dante, I happen to be a wonderful orator. And two of the commissioners can verify that. <laughs> Blanche, orator means speaker. Really? <laughs> well, then somebody else do the talking. You all over at the bar, I just want to say that I would be very proud to have any one of you date my brother. I'd rather date you, lady. I've just done the impossible. I converted one. Well, I found out I can't have it unless I become bilingual. Oh, no, honey, don't do that. No job is worth having to date women. I'll never understand what Jean doesn't see in the opposite sex, but hey, if that's what makes her happy, that's fine by me. There's one other thing. Jean thinks she's in love with Rose. Rose? Jean has the hearts for Rose? I don't believe it. I do not believe it. I was pretty surprised myself. Well, I'll bet. To think Jean would prefer Rose over me? That's ridiculous. <laughs> so what was this great disappointment in your life, Rose? Butter. I wanted to be Butter Queen. Oh, yeah. What an actress. She was so good and gone with the wind. <laughs> I wanted to be Miss Olivia de Havilland myself. Blanche, are you listening to this? Bits and pieces. Well, after commenting that I am the most spectacular specimen of the female anatomy he has seen since Miss Julie Newmar, he said I have a back problem. Well, thank God you went to a specialist. Actually, I tend to fall between sizes myself. Usually I'm smack dab between a four... And a sixteen. Do you realize I'll be sixty-five years old when this child graduates high school? Try seventy. I've been to two funerals in my entire life and I'm forty-five years old. You're such a liar. All right, then three funerals. <laughs> All right, fine. I just thought maybe they'd have more fun going out together instead of hanging around here with me and three old ladies. <laughs> sure don't know why. He'd go to SeaWorld if he wanted to see a naked whale. How could he possibly confuse this young, nubile body with that raisin in sneakers? Oh, you've been single almost two years. Well, both Dorothy and I know how much fun the single life is. Many's the night Dorothy has sat here alone in this room watching me go out on dates. But well, this is crazy. Since when do you care how you look? My life is over. Oh, Blanche, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for thinking all those bad things about you when I thought you were pregnant. Like what a slut you were for having all those men. Things only a trap would do. But now that you're dying, I mean, please forgive me, Blanche. I didn't know, please. I am not dying, Rose, but I might as well be. 
It's menopause. Actually, I'm starting to feel a little hot. Too warm and too tingly. Too warm and too tingly and too hot. All that manliness in one room, in one crowded room. In one hot, crowded room. Everybody's steamy bodies all pressed blanche, up against each other. Blanche, blanche. Sometimes I'd wake up in the middle of the night just sweating and screaming and clawing like a trapped panther, unable to release the lusty, steamy passions that constantly threatened to erupt from within me. Oh, Blanche, what's the matter? Oh, girls, I'm just in ecstasy. My body is tingling all over. You will never guess what just happened. My body feels like a corvette up on blocks with its engine racing and the wheels just spinning and spinning with nowhere to go. I feel like I'm going to explode. Dorothy, you have to help me. You have to do something. Honey, there's nothing I can do, so get that look out of your eye and let go of my hand. Will anybody else like something cold to drink? It's me, Blanche. Oh, Blanche, you're not a terrible person. You're just horny all the time. Blanche, have you heard the latest ad campaigns? Join the Navy, see the world, sleep with Blanche Devereaux. Join the Army, be all you can be, and sleep with Blanche Devereaux. The Marines are looking for a few good men who have not slept with Blanche Devereaux. What are you trying to imply? <laughs> Grandma Hollinsworth always said I was a little flighty. Or was it a little floozy? I was taking some classes at Miss MacGyver's finishing school. And one night, Bobby Joe Springer had escorted me back to my dormitory after the annual fine manners ball, when an innocent goodnight kiss developed into an evening of passion. But at 3 a.m., the door flung open, and there stood Miss MacGyver, making one of those bed checks she was famous for. Well, I tried to handle the whole thing like a lady. I waved politely over Bobby Joe's shoulder with my foot. <laughs> Rose, is that my Cabana Club beach towel you have there? Is it this one with the naked man and woman being swept up in the waves? Yes, that's it. <laughs> Can't use this towel. Blanche, Blanche. It's an emergency. We'll replace it next week. Oh, no, you cannot replace this towel. There are too many fond memories attached to this towel. Uh, Blanche, please, I am in no mood to hear about the parade of endless sexual encounters that you have experienced up and down the Florida coastline with only this towel between your hot flesh and the cold, wet sand. I brought my son Skippy home from the hospital in this towel dump. You're lying, Blanche. <laughs> Damn, you're good. Shouldn't you be lying down? Yes, but I'm tired of being on my back. Did I just say that? <laughs>